YouTube, how's everyone doing today? It's your boy Matt here today, and I am bringing you another video, and yes, I finally got Dark Matter Camo. But before we get to talking on that, I just want to let everyone know that it is Double Crypto Key Weekend. They are finally listening to us and putting Double Crypto Keys. So, there's that. Now, to get into this little custom game just against the bots. Just kind of wanted to show you what the camo looks like on on the m8 one of my favorite guns probably my favorite gun and my butterfly knife yes i have the butterfly knife love it probably my two favorite combinations along with the rk5 but anyway back to the game here if i could find anyone hmm apparently there's no one up no, these bots just decided to take a break. Oh, there's one. I just love the way you can just do this with the butterfly knife. Just flip it in your hand. I can see you can do this all day. <laughs> but anyway, so a lot of people know by now that, oh no. The way you get dark matter camo is by completing all camos and getting diamond on every gun in the game that was here before the DLC. And so, yes, that means everything except for any of the weapons you can get out of the supply drops. You got to do those separate, which I found out later. And so, to me, the most challenging guns were not going to be the snipers. They're not going to be the pistols. It, it was the shotguns for me. The shotguns are the hardest. Just because they're... You know, you got to get headshots with a couple of them and just doing that kind of stuff just kind of sucks. If this guy would just, you're just not going to kill me? All right. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm right here. Oh my God. This is why bots should not be played against. But yeah, shotguns were the hardest for me. The headshots on the brekkie and the haymaker, dear God. I mean, those, those were probably the toughest thing for me to to uh neutralized do it took me the longest i should say to finish those two guns um i thought the knife was going to be kind of challenging it turned out not to be as bad as i thought it was going to be oh let's use the wrench real quick yes the wrench i got i got uh you know dark mattered and these dlc weapons are a lot harder to do than you think you have to get 200 kills with each DLC weapon and then you have to do everything you did for the knife basically yes bloodthirsty you got to kill an enemy with their own weapon if I can get to these guys and God, there's so many revenge medals avenge medals all the fun stuff so I think it, it, it was it was a fun time I mean it gave you something to do when uh, you were just playing around you know you you had that, that second second goal in mind of trying to finish finish the camo god look how it looked that look how nice that looked requesting you a peek of smoke them give you a sneak peek of what the uh, carver looks like as well dark matter um so yeah i mean i think the carver is probably my favorite my favorite melee weapon just because it you can spin it around in your hand it does the same thing as a, any other knife i could show you on that guy So, yeah, that's really what I wanted to show you guys today. I mean, Dark Matter is something fun to go for if you're an avid Call of Duty player and, and you really want to show off the grind that you do. Get a counter UAV in the I mean, this is probably the best way to show it. I mean, yeah, the hero, the hero stuff is great. Really? A hit marker of the SVG? Alright. Anyway, but... That's all I wanted to show you guys today. YouTube, you have a great day. Everyone out there, keep grinding. Uh, shout out to Optic. They clutched up and um, 
They won their the CDWL for season anyway. So shout out to them. You know, I, I got to watch them play. I think it was TSM and TSM brought them down to the wire. I mean, it's probably the most they've been tested all year. So shout out to them, everyone. Y'all have a great day. And YouTube, we will see you later.